गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ अवर न्यू चैप्टर विच इज फूट ओवर ब्रिज सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अवर थियरी सो द फर्स्ट थियरी इज वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ फूट ओवर ब्रिज इट मीन्स फूट ओवर ब्रिज इज यूज एट बीच प्लेस ओके एंड वॉट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फूट ओवर ब्रिज आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट what are the components of foot over bridge in which you can see that in this figure there are number of components are there okay so you can see that this is the topmost portion of the foot over bridge and the topmost portion of the foot over bridge is called as top cord this is your bottom cord which is our bottom most portion and this is our junction point okay so the junction point which is a junction of top cord vertical member and diagonal member and similar in such a way that it is the junction of bottom cord vertical member and diagonal member so this junction point is called as panel point okay so this is our second theory which is the component of foot over bridge after that we will discuss about the types of foot over bridge now the foot over bridge is also called as cross gutter bridge or it is also called as lattice gutter bridge okay so there are number of lattice gutter bridge based on their arrangement of trusses okay so it will be discussed in our last lecture and after that we will discuss about the applications of foot over bridge it means at which place our foot over bridge has to be applicable okay so students there are generally four applications and this all the four applications which is our in daily routine say for example at railway station over busy street to cross road next is to connect a two high rise building at some higher level and at last it is to cross the stream of moderate width okay so students after that we will discuss about the design step of foot over bridge in which in which there is 15 step so students in the last lecture we will discuss up to this point okay now we are moving further to our first example which is the design of foot over bridge in which in your syllabus there is two type of foot over bridge first one is n type of foot over bridge and second one is w type now w type is called as warren type of foot over bridge okay now students one question asked in your viva that the types of foot over bridge in which there are three types of foot over bridge first one is through type second one is deck type and third one is semi through type now the question is what is the difference between all this foot over bridge so in through type of foot over bridge this is your floor system okay so flooring is connected to this bottom cord so when the flooring is connected to bottom cord it is called as through type of foot over bridge similarly the opposite when the floor system is connected with the top cord is called as deck type of foot over bridge and this type of foot over bridge generally see in hilly region okay and in semi through type of foot over bridge our floor system is connected in the between of top cord and bottom cord okay so students now we are moving further to our first example which is the design of n type of foot over bridge in which the data is designed a steel foot over bridge for the following data now your data is length of foot over bridge is 24 meter this length is also called as span of bridge is called as 24 meter so you can see that this length is 24 meter next is width of walkway now width of walkway is generally seen in 3d view okay so this width of walkway will be discussed in the next slide so it is 4 meter now third is flooring so the flooring is 110 mm thick rcc slab next is floor finish 
Okay, so floor finish is given as 0.75 kN per meter square and live load. Live load is also called as pedestrian load. So the value of pedestrian load is 5 kN per meter square. So these are the main data and loads given in our equation. Next is use n type of foot over bridge. Okay, so you can see that this is our structural system in which you can see that this is a n type of figure so we have to use n type of foot over bridge and design all the components next is assume suitable data if necessary and e is equal to 250 megapascal now what is e e means yield stress okay so you all know that the yield stress of the steel plate is always remain 250 megapascal. Now, 1 megapascal is 1 newton per mn square. And last one is Fe410 megapascal. Okay, so the value of ultimate strength of plate is always 410 newton per mn square. Okay, so now we are moving further to our first step. So our first step is geometry of lattice cutter now after the find out the first step we are moving further to our second step which is the design of cross beam now what is the meaning of cross beam will be already discussed in our last lecture okay so now we are moving further to our first step which is the geometry of lattice cutter in which we have to trial and error the dimension of foot over bridge so first is assume the height of vertical member so you can see that this is the vertical length or it is also called as height of vertical member so the value of height of vertical member will be remain in the range of l by 12 to l by 8 okay in this example our span is 24 meter because we have to design a foot over bridge for 24 meter so it is 24 divided by 12 to 24 divided by 8 so whenever we have to put the value of 24 in this equation then it is in the range of 2 to 3 meter now basic knowledge is that if our height is 6 feet okay now 2 meter is equal to 6 feet and 3 meter is equal to 9 feet because you all know that the unit conversation in which round up 1 meter is equal to 3 feet so our 2 meter is equal to 6 feet okay so it is practical applicable that we are taking this is 6 feet no because it is our height but when a coolie put out any okay any load on their head then its clear height is increased okay coolie with the luggage so the clear height is not remain six so for safer side we have to put down our height of vertical member is minimum three meter because for practical aspect point of view okay so sometimes if this range is in the range is less than 3 meter then you have to put down the height of vertical member is 3 meter for practical aspect of point of view okay now this is 3 meter so this height is 3 meter now this is the length okay so this length is called as panel length and this all the junction this all rectangle portion is called as one panel okay so the length of this panel is remain similar to this because this is a triangle okay and in which in this triangle this both the angles remain same as 45 degree okay so if we have to use 1045 then it is 3 divided by x so this x is equal to 3 meter okay so that's why we have to put down the panel length is equal to the height of vertical member which is equal to 3 meter now if this length is 3 meter which is for vertical members height 
and the height of horizontal which is the panel length is also 3 meter then whenever we have to find out this length this is the length of diagonal member so the length of this diagonal member is vertical member and panel length under root square so it is under root 3 square plus under root 3 square so we will get our answer this length of diagonal member which is 4.24 meter okay so after calculation our step number one we are moving further to our step number two which is design of cross beam now what is cross beam so you can see that this is our cross beam and we have to provide channel section okay so there are two or there are two possibility whether you have to provide channel section or you have to provide it i section okay but in this figure we have to assume that it is channel section so this is your cross beam now whenever you have to design any structural component first step is to find out loads okay so how many loads or how much load is transferred to this cross beam so first of all this is your floor system and the flooring load is transferred to this both the cross beam say for example if this length is 3 meter then 1.5 meters load is transferred to the left side of cross beam and 1.5 meters load is transferred to the right side of cross beam similarly from this one half of the load is transferred to this cross beam and 1.4 meter sorry 1.5 meters load is transferred to the right side of whole cross beam okay so you can see that this is your intermediate cross beam which takes 3 meters load okay because half of the load is coming from left hand side and half of the load is coming from right hand side okay and your end cross beam takes a load of 1.5 meters only okay so if we have to design any structural component then we have to design for maximum load okay so the self weight of cross beam is density into thickness so this thickness is 110 mm which is given in our question so it is 25 into 0.11 so we will get our answer 2.75 km per meter square next is floor finish now what is the meaning of floor finish so floor finish means tiles so the value of floor finish is given as 0.75 kN per meter square and live load is equal to 5 kN per meter square these two data are already given in our equation so our total load is 8.5 kN per meter square now as discussed in this figure that the intermediate cross beam takes load of 3 meter length because 1.5 is coming from left hand side and 1.5 is coming from right hand side okay so the load width of slab carries of one cross beam is 3 meter because 1.5 is from left hand side and 1.5 is from right hand side okay so we have to multiply this value with 3 so we will get answer 25.5 kN per meter now this is the load transfer from the slab but whenever we have to design any structural component then we have to assume that the self weight of that component also okay so that's why we have to assume that self weight of cross beam is 0.5 kN per meter now the total load is 26 kN per meter because it is 25.5 plus 0.5 so it is 26 kN per meter but this load is unfactored load and whenever you have to design any structural component you have to design for a factor load so the total factor load is 39 kN per meter okay now this 39 kN per meter load is acting on this cross beam like this UDL. Okay. Now this load is acting on this cross beam having a span of this. This span is 4 meters. So you can see that 
this is 4 meter which is your width of walkway okay so now we have to find out maximum factor moment because whenever you have to design any structural component first of first step is to find out loads after calculating loads you have to find out moment okay so the moment is w l square by 8 because we have to assume that it is simply supported on both the end okay so the w l square by 8 in which your value of w is 39 L is 4 meter because this load is acting on this one like this okay so it is 39 into 4 square divided by 8 so it is 78 kilonewton into meter now after finding out the maximum bending moment next step is to find out maximum shear force so shear force means reactions okay so the reactions on both the end remain same because it is a symmetrical figure of 4 meter in which we have to find out RA and RB. So the equation of RA and RB for UDL is WL by 2. This is the revision of mechanics of solid. Okay. So student, after putting all this value, we will get our answer is 78 kilonewton. Okay. After finding out the maximum shear force and maximum bending moment, next step is to find out section plastic modulus, plastic section modulus. So you all the students are moved to page number 53 in which equation on clause number 8.2.1.2 is that MD is equal to beta B Z B F by by gamma M0. Now there are four types of sections are there based on section classification which is given on page number 18 first is plastic compact semi compact and slender but in is portal provision slender's property is not given now slender is the weakest point or weakest section semi compact is second weakest compact is third weakest component and plastic is a highest resistant load resisting component so we have to design any component for higher resistance design so we have to assume that we have to design plastic component so for plastic component you can see that the value of beta b is equal to 1 for plastic or compact section so if we have to put down the value of beta b is equal to 1 and our zb is here our subject okay so if Zp is your subject, then your equation is Zp is equal to Mt into gamma M0 divided by Fy. Okay. So students, after putting all this value, because Md is our maximum moment. Okay. So it is 78 into 10 raised to 6 into 1.1 divided by 250. So we will get our answer 3432 triple. 2 double 2 double 0 mm cube now we have to design any structural component having a value of zp greater than this value okay so in the next lecture we have to design a section having a value of zp greater than 343.20 cm cube from the is codal provision on which on page number 139 140 our value of Zp is given on that page. Okay, so students, we will discuss the design of cross girder or cross beam in the next lecture. So this is the end of our today's session. Thank you.